Chapter 5 of Learning Seaside, we're going to explore some of the tools. We'll start by opening our Seaside one-click experience, editing one of the methods to give it a misspelling. We're prompted for different options that do exist. We're going to pick one that's wrong and then refresh our web browser. When we enter the flight info component, we get a message not understood because header is not recognized by this receiver. We'll click debug, which will open a debugger in our Smalltalk image. From the debugger, we can examine the program stack and see the method that has the misspelling. We'll correct the spelling, and then we can save the method and then step into over. We can step through the code in the debugger and see what's happening. Finally, we'll proceed and see that the page refreshes in our web browser. Now we're going to explore some of the web-based tools provided by Seaside. When you're in development mode, there's a toolbar at the bottom, including Toggle Halos. Let's right-click on Toggle Halos to open a new tab showing the component with a halo of tools around it. In the top right, we can look at the source HTML or return back to the render HTML. Clicking the icon with three colors gives us an opportunity to edit the CSS associated with this component. Here we'll set the background to gray. When we return to the flight info component, the background is now gray. We can then edit the CSS to change it to white, save that, and view the component and refresh, seeing that the background is now white. We can look at the code that that generates, a new style method in our Smalltalk environment. Close the CSS, go look at an inspector. This web inspector allows us to look at the model, showing the when and price. We can execute code in this text entry field. Do it on add hours will change the time and recalculate the price since it calls that. We can also execute arbitrary small talk code like 16 square root. The next component is a browser where we can look at the code and add new code. We can take the render content on method and add a callback to say if they click an earlier link then subtract 30 hours. You can see the time and price change. We can add a new method called later that adds 30 hours and then from our render content we can add a callback to call this new method. When they click the later link it will add 30 hours to the time and recalculate the price. At this point we can quit our image, saving our changes, and see that Seaside is no longer running. If you'd like more information, see seaside.gemstone.com tutorial.